Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello. Welcome. Hi. We are having so much fun with this little tier list series that we decided to keep it going just a touch. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's just really fun. It's really fun to do this. And also with my OCD, this really helps my categorizing and list, list making. Uh, it just, it's just very calming for me. I just like talking trash on restaurants and candies. You really do. I, I get very, there was, you said it once in an episode a long time ago where you were like, why do you get so passionate about food? And it just, it just, I don't know. There's just something just triggers in my brain. I when get it. When it comes it. to food, I'm like, no, it's, this sucks. Well, you do, you do, you do have stronger feelings about food than I do. Yeah. Like for me, it's like, what will keep me alive? Yeah. And for you, it's like, it's, it's much, it's much deeper than that. Mm-hmm. Let me preface. Mm-hmm. This this whole categorization situation with all of this is disgusting. Like none of this is food. Just so any of you know, like like we're we're discussing this purely on the pretense of what's the best fast food place. You know, if we're if oh we're, yeah, th- this isn't like a what's the best health choice kind of thing. Well, no, just just in general food quality because all the food quality of all of these places is awful. Cool. So it's like, you said it, not me. Barring that, what's the best of these awful choices? All right, fair enough, Aaron. First up, A and W. Never had it. Really? Never had it. Um, they're. I want to say they're like D tier. They're pretty generic burgers, pretty generic fries. They got that bear. They do bit. have the fuckable bear. Yeah, they did. Well, again, not an adjective I would have jumped at, but. Yes. Arby's. Disgusting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's an F. Just truly revolting. For me. I I hate it. Roast beef sandwich is the worst idea that anyone's ever had in life. Love that chicken from Arby's. That's the that's the theme song. Yep. Last time I went to Arby's, because Su- Susie was big on, because they have like horsey sauce or so They have some kind of sauce. Okay. And, and she was like, no, I used to have Arby's all the time. I like it. And I'm like, but it's disgusting. And then we went. Once, like maybe four years ago, I got a sandwich and I ate it and I looked over at her and she had a, a look on her face like everything she had ever known in life was a lie. Right. And, and then we just kind of knowingly looked at each other and we were like, so we're never going to Arby's again, right? And she was like, yeah, I don't think so. Fair enough. Baja Fresh. Uh, I like it. I'll put that in B. Yeah. They, 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 get, get a good quesadilla there. They're in that uh, like Chipotle category mm-hmm. where it's like the, the big burrito that you make mm. um, on the fly. I think Qdoba is. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah. B is okay. But yeah. B, B for is Baja Fresh. Fine. Blimpy. Mm. Love that chicken from Blimpy. <laughs> uh, I can't. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say a B or a C. Really? I don't think I've ever had Blimpy. I think I just had it for the first time because I was in Utah looking at dinosaurs with my buddy. And uh, we we got Blimpies and I think it was, if it's what I'm thinking of, it was like good sandwiches. I think it's a cute name. Mm-hmm. So you say C? That's what you said? It'd be your C. Be your C? Yeah. Uh, you gotta choose. Oh, B then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very positive spin on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bojangles. Mm-hmm. Never had it. You never had Bob Daniels? I <laughs> never got Bob Daniels. They got no fresh biscuits. I I love. Uh, you gotta get no chicken biscuits in the morning. You got a big line ass uh, in front. Have you had Bojangles? Of course, I've had Bojangles. How is it? It's a southern delight. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> but they got those fresh biscuits. You gotta show up and get those fresh biscuits. Look, I'm a I'm a northern boy. I've I've never had it. They also got that that that. Uh, that's it, really. It's just the biscuits. Okay. Okay, for the chicken biscuits alone, if they're fresh, that's like C... <laughs> B? If it's ch- if we're just talking about the chicken biscuits, it's a B. Okay. Overall, I'd say it's a C, though. So I'm going to put it in C. Okay. Boston Market. Oh, man. I, I always liked Boston Market. Uh, back when Back in the early 90s when it was called Boston Chicken. 
Uh, what? Yeah, that's that. What? When it first came to my little Jersey town, it was like a big deal, and everyone you would, lied to me. Everyone would go get Boston chicken and bring it home to their families. So nice memories. Okay, um, so for you, what is that? For for me, it's a, a an A or a B. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I never liked it. All I right. thought their mac and cheese was gross. I don't remember their chicken. They give like rotisserie chicken, right? Yeah, it tasted pretty clean and I don't know, I liked it. I'm gonna put it in B. Okay. Fair enough. Burger King. Kurger Bang. <laughs> Kurger Bang. You gotta get those uh, mozzarella sticks full of cum. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Strong uh, memories as a kid. As a child. Yeah, I, I loved Burger King mm -hmm. as a kid. And then one day, as I started to get older and like the, the idea of fast food was beginning to curdle. Uh, I saw someone dragging in a giant plastic th see-through garbage bag of 10,000 loose frozen chicken tenders, and I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they like ripped open and got on the floor, and they were like, ah, and they took a shovel and shoveled it back into the yeah, bag. Yeah, why not? Um, so now I couldn't put it higher than like a D. I do have a lot of history with Burger King. Mm -hmm. Burger King was the best in terms of toys. Yeah. When I was obsessed with, because that's, that's all that I would get. Because um, I, I, you know, was sort of a poor kid. So I wouldn't get like actual toys from a toy store. I would just get fast food toys. Because mm -hmm. they were basically free. Um, but Burger King had the deluxe toys. I remember they had like Toy Story toys, which I was obsessed with. Right. Toy Story. And then they had like Toy Story puppets. If you paid like three bucks or whatever. And you get like the puppet, and it was deluxe, and nobody wow. ever had Buzz Lightyear, and I was heartbroken. I mean, I do remember their their promotional toy things, like uh, they had an Alf. You could get an Alf doll. This must have been the eighties when what Alf was all the rage, dude. There was a line around the block, like trying to get into Burger King to get the Alf doll. This is, I mean, <laughs> this is years before eBay and the internet in general. Yeah. So that was your one chance, man. Um. Hey, Willie. <laughs> but I will say, in terms of food, it's a little bit of an old faithful for me. Okay. Um, if there's nothing around uh, Burger King, I'll be like, okay, fine. Because, and because, mm -hmm. Whoppers make my stomach hurt, but they have the Impossible Whopper now, mm -hmm. which is actually pretty decent. Impossible. Um, so I'm, I kind of want to give Burger King like a B or a C. I will defer to you on this one. Oh, that's so tough. Ah. Keep in mind, yeah. it's vile. <laughs> that's, the, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, this yeah. is all vile. If, yeah. this, if this was like an actual food tier list, this would all be in F. I got, I got you. I got you. Um, all right. Do C. I'll go with C. Yeah, and, and then we'll move on. I don't even fucking like this one. Canes. K uh, a. I, yeah. Canes is fucking amazing. I'm a big Raising Canes fan. Canes... They've been building a Raisin Cane's in Burbank for like 30 years. <laughs> 30? 30 years. Um, Cane's uh, was introduced to me by Allie. Hello, Allie. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was... Oh, that was right. It was right after the, uh, the yeah, Power Hour. Exactly. When we filmed the Power Hour at that uh, golf course, um, we went and got Cane's, which was next door. It's down in Downey. And um, oh my God, it was... So tasty, and you and guys played Magic the Gathering. We right. did. That's right. Together. I forgot about that. It was such a. It was one of my most treasured memories. Oh man, that's nice. And then when the pandemic hit, um, my wife and my dog and I would go to Canes, and that would be like our big, our big uh, pandemic eating experience out. And we'd we'd eat it and go to the drive through and eat it in the car in the parking lot, and then we'd give, we'd order a cup of ice for Camilla, Camilla. Fucking loves the ice from Canes. It's like that crumbly ice. Oh, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. And she's like, she it's thinks Sonic. it's Sonic. Yeah, she thinks it's a treat. And so, like, we'll give her a little bit, and she's like, "Oh my god, more!" And we, we could just <laughs> give her a million things that she thinks she thinks she's getting all the treats, but meanwhile, she's just getting hydrated. It's like such a win-win. Wow. That's that's great. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on Canes, especially like in the fast food category. For fast food chicken, pretty damn good. A does, plus. Does not taste like fast food chicken. It just tastes like quick service chicken. Right. Right. Which is one step above. Carl's Jr. Uh, 
Doesn't do much for me. I'm gonna go D tier. Okay, yeah, I think that's about right. I would eat it. It definitely has the sluttiest uh, commercials, uh, but that's not what we're talking about here. Yeah, we didn't have the- we didn't- oh, never mind. I was talking about the Jack in the Box one. The Jack in the Box guy wasn't on our list. Our, our fuckable tier list. Oh no! And he would have been uh, right up there. He really? Was, he was he was one of the images that didn't load. Oh no! He That's was definitely tragedy. on there. Sorry to hear that. Rest in pieces. Ch checkers, also known as rallies. Yeah. Um. Not really my thing. Oh, by the way, Carl Jr. also known as Hardies for those of you. Yeah, on the East that's Coast. right. That's right. Um. I have a storied history with checkers. I lived close to a checkers when I lived in Florida, and I used to love it. You have a checkered checkers history. Mm-hmm. Excellent. 100% yes. Did something happen? I do find it weird that they call it Carl's Jr., which is the West Coast, and then they called it Checkers, which is the East Coast. That's true. Um, anyway, Checkers, yeah. Uh, used to love their fries, mm. and to some extent still do. They have, like, seasoned fries, yep. which are, like, pretty dece, Um, and their burgers are disgusting, but, like, there's something satisfying about the really cheesy burgers mm. uh, at Checkers, and uh, it just it just feels like... A nightmare every time you go there and I think they had like a toy promotion with like straws or something that I really liked they had like straw they had like little figures that would grab onto your straw they're like little aliens mm. and I loved those as a kid yeah so where do you want to put it I want to <sighs> see there's no like I guess C is the middle yeah it's never had is there C, C is the middle so I, I give it a C okay fair enough um Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is uh outstanding uh fast food tasty wise. Uh. Um obviously not into their uh feelings on homosexuality, but right. you know, that's not what we're talking about here. So thumbs down to homo wait, to homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Whoa. I got, I got what are you, Chick-fil-A? <laughs> I'm sorry. Thumbs down to homophobia, thumbs up to waffle fries. I was trying- I was thinking of the second half of the sentence before I finished the first half. Yeah, I try not to eat there a whole lot because of that. And I- and I, it always flip-flops in the news. It's like, they don't do it anymore. And it's like, oh, cool. And they're like, well, just kidding, they do. <laughs> and it's like, oh, no, you tricked me. Yeah. Um, but I- I honestly, okay. I do have a hardcore opinion on Chick-fil-A food. Okay. Uh, I think the sauce does all the work. Huh. I once had Chick-fil-A, and I asked for the sauce, and they didn't give it to me. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I ate the sandwich just on its own, mm -hmm. and I ate the fries just on its own, and it was a very, very mediocre experience. Huh. And I was like, damn, that sauce really do all the work. <laughs> And they don't put it on automatically, so I don't know. I, I feel like uh, I feel like not great. I feel like okay. the, the, the sauce is what really does. So I, I I'll go see. All right, C is where it ends up. Uh, Chipotle. Chipotle is one of those things where I feel like I should like it more than I do. Um, well, it's usually like, it's like spicy, right? You can eat salsa. Yeah. Every every time I've eaten there, I've I've felt somewhat ill afterwards. I had Chipotle yesterday. Oh, okay. And I icebergged it this morning. Yep, that does track. Their their burritos are like children. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pillow filled with meat. I don't know how they expect anyone to eat that whole burrito in one sitting. Yeah, it's maybe that's why I would always get sick because like it's just too much food. It's so much. They just there's no because they they just load up how whatever they feel like mm -hmm. even though they don't know the rest of the story yes you know you get the burrito and they're and you're like oh you the beans and yeah i'll give me the beans and then they just slop the fucking beans on yeah. like a whole burrito sized amount of beans how about all the beans that have ever grown <laughs> yeah it's like you don't know what else i want yeah what do you think i'm just getting beans that's like when subway destroys it with spinach yes yeah yeah. And and that's the most disappointing thing because lettuce is at the very end of the train at chipotle mm -hmm. And it's like, I want a lot of lettuce because I like that crunch, dog. Yeah. The crunch and munch. And by the time they get to lettuce, it's just, it's the fucking Mount Everest of food on top of a tortilla. Right. And I have no idea how they're going to wrap this shit. And then sometimes they bring in a second tortilla because the first tortilla breaks because there's so much fucking food in it. How, how have they not figured this out? I love it. <laughs> I'm going to go B. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I just look, you know, and here's here's the thing you got to do. Here's the life hack at Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Tell them to mix it around. Oh, okay. Because they they do this thing where they just like, yeah. And, and then they, when you eat it, it's like you get one the, side the that's bean quadrant. Yeah, the, it's just yeah. so huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's like you take a bite and it's like, oh, that was only guacamole. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Yeah. And you sure. you got to tell them just mix it around a little bit, please. And they get it. All right, we are running into uh, four in a row that I have never eaten at. You never had churches? No, we drove by it in North Carolina, but I've never even seen one before. I don't think I've ever had churches either. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cookout. That's crazy. Uh, is pretty good. I don't know what it is. They have a lot of options. It's an East Coast thing. Okay. It's an East Coast Southern thing. Right. Um, it's, it's really, really good late. They're open late, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of options. All right. Um, I believe they have a lot of different ice cream options, like milkshake options. Yes. It's one of those things where it's like, we have a thousand milkshake. We got banana peanut butter. We've got banana apple. We've got poopy dinky milkshake. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. And uh, I got to say, for like late night, it's pretty satisfying. I would probably go B. All right. I've never had Culver's. Me neither. Love the color of the logo, but never had it. Del Taco. Del Taco. Jesus. I've only seen Ross eat it. <laughs> and it looks insane. I have not had a whole lot of food from Del Taco. I will say mm -hmm. their classic chicken burrito, which they have a deal if you buy two of them, which is way too much food, is fucking delicious. Mm. It's so refreshing and good. And the, the tomatoes they put in it are like, it's the only time I'll ever eat tomatoes because I hate tomatoes, but it's like, it's cold and it just goes really well with like the sauce they put in it. And it's just, I love the chicken classic burrito. It's the only thing I like from Del Taco. All right. F. I'll, I'll go, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, oh man, because we're talking, I'll go B. Okay. I, I think they're okay. All right. Denny's. Denny's, I think two out of my three worst experiences with food have been at a Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about them, Daniel. Well, you were there for one of them uh, after the tool show. Oh, um, that's right. Yeah. They we, put us under the, the one open vent. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was three in the morning. ice cold air on us. Yep. And uh, like they brought out the water and it was like, the water in the rest the fake restaurant in the beginning of Goonies when it's like the water's all brown. She's like, it's wet, ain't it? Drink it. That's <laughs> that's Denny's. I like um and then that time when we went uh with Jacob Anderson. That's right. Uh who played Grey Worm uh on Game of Thrones, also known as Raleigh Ritchie, the very talented, wonderful man. Well, we wanted to take him out to a nice restaurant because he was like nice enough to come on our show and hang out with us. And he was like, No. I want the shittiest food yeah, possible. He, he just wanted to experience like garbage American food. And uh, so we took him to Denny's, which uh, was near uh, that office that we were at at the time. And uh, it was gross. It was exactly as gross as we thought it would be. And um, we even have uh, a classic video of him uh, acting as Grey Worm, eating Denny's. And he's like, this is not good food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Super classic. I'm going to go with the best. Oh, God, please don't. Um, How dare you? Well, hear me out. No. All right? Hear I me hate out. it being up there. It's Why? It, 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 it violates the entire sanctity of this project. Denny's is a unique experience. It is, you know when you so want Denny's. So getting beaten up within an inch no, of your no, life. No, 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 no. You, you have Denny's once, and you're like, okay. I get this. Uh -huh. All right. I understand what this is. And there are times in your life where you want that. And when you sit down and you have it, that's exactly what you get every single time. Yeah. But what, when you're, when you're like, I want this, you're never thinking I want the best. I, you're thinking I want a hot dumpster fire of yes, garbage. Yes, but that's, like I said, we're, we're acknowledging that this is all terrible food. Right, but that's the terrible of the terrible. I would give D Denny's an F and not even think twice about F? it. F? Yeah, yeah. For Denny's? For fucking gross. The T Grand Slam? Yeah, yeah. Moons over my hammy? <laughs>
What is wrong with you? How about all this for six ninety nine? Grand Slam Dolph. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go see because we're split. Okay, fair enough. I have to look myself in the mirror tonight <laughs> when I go home. Domino's Pizza. D- Domino's Pizza is almost an oxymoron because I don't know if you could call what they serve pizza. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Um, but again, th- there have been times in my life where like it did hit the spot because I wanted exactly that kind of badness. D. D is perfect. Okay. DQ. I'm going to argue, mm-hmm. okay, so the they, DQ is on here because they do actually serve fast food food. They have burgers, they have fries, they, get, they, they have hot dogs, I believe. The grill and chill. Yeah. Um, but DQ obviously started as an ice cream place exclusively, um, and that's still how I see it. And I want to say that in terms of ice cream, it's very good, especially when they have that butterscotch dip. Oh, mama. Mm-hmm. That's the best for the, me. The chocolate shell over the vanilla oh, ice yeah. cream. That I is, really like that it. That is A tier for me. Okay. Cool with me. Good Boom. stuff. El Pollo Loco. Never had it. It's all right. It's a crazy chicken. C tier. Okay. Firehouse Subs. Only had it once. Thought it was good. B or C? Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. I don't I've, I've never had it. Okay. Five Guys. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be here for a while. Is it? Well, I guess Denny's is on here. But that's the only so far. What else is there? <laughs> Kazoon tight. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Panera's on here. Okay. Okay. Five Guys is fast casual. It is not fast food. Right. Um, which is fine because there's other fast casual rested Panera breads on here. Um, Denny's is on here, which I th- is just a diner. Uh, Five Guys is very good. Mm-hmm. It's also very expensive, mm. and there's no drive-through. Mm. Um, but in terms of the food quality, the very good food quality, every time I've had a Five Guys burger and fries, it has been fucking delicious. It's been a long time for me. I haven't, uh, I stopped eating burgers maybe like 13 or 14 years ago, um, just because like, for health reasons and also just because I met a bunch of cows and I was like, oh, I can't eat them anymore. They're yeah. too cute. Uh, but w- from what I remember, uh, it was very good. Yes. My my one thing about Five Guys is it always gets caught up in the like the best fast food burger argument, which I think is so unfair because Five Guys burgers are like $15 mm. and it's like Wendy's burgers are like six bucks. So yeah, you will defend Wendy's until the day you die. So it's it's just like when people are like, Five Guys is the best fast food, whatever. It's like, that's a different category. That's like saying fucking Umami Burger makes the best burgers and and McDonald's doesn't. It's like, yeah, no shit. God, you're so passionate. I just like, I, I just want to put that out there. Like Mel Gibson rallying the troops at the end of Braveheart. With, with, <laughs> with me putting Five Guys in the best category. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to stipulate. Yep. Okay. Um, IHOP. I... Fucking love IHOP pancakes. I really do. You wanted to put Denny's in F tier and IHOP in I fucking love their pancakes tier? Because it's it's a DQ kind of thing. Like, if I ordered anything else at IHOP, I'd be like, oh, dear. But uh, the pancakes, yeah, I really love them. Okay. I agree with you on that front. I think Denny's overall has just better food in general. IHOP, the food is fucking awful, but the pancakes are pretty decent. Okay. Would you be cool with B? B? Yeah. I'd give it an A, otherwise, for the pancakes. Oh. Daddy likey. <laughs> Daddy want cakey. All right. Okay. <laughs> they do have better, like, options for pancakes. They always have, like, special pancakes. They got, like, the cinnamon swirl twisty magic face. Bro, the funny face? When, when I was a little kid and I could go and get a pancake, what with the face? Made out of the whipped creams, yeah, and 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 the oh the the gooey chocolate chips, uh huh, ah, yep, it's, it's a fucking I could nut just talking about it. <laughs> In and out. Oh, the burger joint. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not talking about your bowel movements at IHOP. Okay. Uh, I think. See, this is this is another one. I think my I think the last burger I ever had was at In and Out. Really? Yeah, I really I really liked it because it was like an LA staple. It's like, oh, you got to try In and Out. And uh, when so when I first moved here, 
um, low those many years ago, uh, I had it. It was very good. So I would put it high, but mostly because it reminds me of like my pre Game Grumps days in LA, right. like when you and I had just met and were hanging. It was just a nice time in my life. Okay, I do have very strong opinions about In and Out. Okay, um, of course you do. It is beloved. There, there is a bit of a um, a uh, In and Out is overrated hype train that is pulling out of the station right now, uh, which I don't want to say that I'm a part of, but um, the whole the whole allure of In and Out is that it is a decent burger for a very decent price. Um, however, you have to wait in line for fucking five hours to get it. Uh, but it's okay. It's kind of small. Okay. Kind of a small burger. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to say it's like B tier. That's cool. I'm down with B. We've got a lot of B's, but that's cool. Hey, man. You know, they I all like, deserve to be there. I like, they all deserve to be there. <laughs> nice. Except for Del Taco, which I would rather lick the asphalt in the parking lot outside the restaurant. You didn't even, you've never had it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's the taco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jack in the box. Uh, I, I only had it once. I, rem I didn't think it was that good. I think Jack in the box is a fast food chain that knows exactly what it is. Right. That is, is like, look. It's not. <laughs> Let me level with you. <laughs> it's not fucking amazing. We don't mm -hmm. price it like it's amazing. But we give you a lot of options. And we give you a lot of options that we know you want. They're all fucking just slathered in cheese and sauce and bacon. Yeah. And they have like, the, they have they straight up have like a stoner meal. It's like the late night munchy meal That's or something. That's exactly what that is. Um, and I'm cool with that. And they serve breakfast all day and their breakfast options are very good. Mm -hmm. their, uh, their burrito or whatever, their egg burrito, great. Okay. Their egg sandwiches, the ultimate sausage sandwich or whatever mm -hmm. is pretty decent. And I will say that their burgers are okay. This is going to have to be two episodes. <laughs> We've got so much to say. I had no idea we had so many thoughts on these restaurants. Jack in the Box, J in the B. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say is a B or a C. Um, if Burger King is in C, then I'm putting J in the B and a C. Okay, okay, sounds great. Because it is, it is the same kind of like old faithful style, like. You know what? When I eat here, I know I'm not going to want to throw up. Yep. Which honestly is with this group of <laughs> restaurants is no small feat. Um next is Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's is my fucking jam. I know that you are in the best tier for Jersey Mike's. Yeah, that's that's like my Wendy's. Susie also huge Jersey Mike's fan. Yeah. Um I will because I know how much you love it and oh. how excited you are about it. Well, thank you. I will put it in the best. I am not a huge Jersey Mike's fan. I get diarrhea every time I eat there. Do you get the oil on the on your subs? Because that will absolutely grease your entire insides as if you were a like Olympic luge <laughs> setup. Who doesn't get the oil on their sandwiches? I don't. It's I don't. delicious. It, it is delicious, but that's what's giving you that reaction. Well, you know what? I put the oil on one time. And I like I finished the last bite and I was immediately like, oh my god! <laughs> Just had to run. Yeah, for me, I I would almost put it in like C. Uh, yeah, a lot of people think it's average, but for, I don't know. To something to my palate tastes very good about. Sure. It. And what do they call it? Mike's Way or whatever. And just be like, Mike's Way is all the crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. It. Yeah, I could. I, that that's more than my my sensitive Jew stomach could handle. Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is for me also very good. Uh, one step below, like a B. Yeah, all right. I've had it a couple times. I could easily see the Jimmy John stands coming out of the woodwork and be like, "You think it's not as good as Jersey Mike's? We could fucking find out where you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and beat you with condiments. It'll beat you with these two J's. Yeah." I'm gonna grab them both and dual wield them. <laughs> Cha -cha. Just smack them in your fucking face. Um, next up, what, wait, what? What are your thoughts on Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's? Yeah. I just, I, I've had it maybe two or three times. Okay. And every time I was like, okay, all right. You know, it's 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 tough. 
I feel like that kind of food is tough to weigh against like a like a McDonald's or something cuz you know it's like it's like they grill it in a certain oil for some reason when it's just like it's a sandwich and they have all these ingredients and then they just put the ingredients in the sandwich and close the sandwich you know it's like it then it feels like what's really unique about this yeah i understand as opposed to like this is the kind of oil that we fry it in this is how long we fry it for this is you know the special sauce that we use this is we've crafted these burger experiences to be Specific, you know, burger experiences, you know. So, God, you sound like a marketing guy. <laughs> we crafted the burger experience. So it's it's tough for me, except for Subway. It's tough for me to to speak really strongly about like these sandwich places. Okay, where you can just like literally just go up and be like, just put cheese in it, and I'm good. Yep, I get it. I get it. Um, I think we should. We yeah, have put we less do. than is remaining. Yeah, we do have to split this into two episodes. Yeah. I can't believe. I thought we'd breeze through this, but like everything you say, I'm like counterpoint. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just, I didn't realize we had such strong feelings. Yeah. So uh, next time on Game Grumps, we will finish this uh, tier list. Yeah, I can only imagine what the comments will be like because if we have strong feelings, oh, the internet definitely has strong. feelings. When it comes to fast food in America, yeah, dude. There are people that are gonna be coming out of the fucking wood. Where they're gonna be yeah. non Game Grumps fans showing up and be like, "Who the fuck are these guys?" Yeah, but you know what? Culver's and never had. Don't 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 frame it at like you guys are assholes. Just let us know how you feel. <laughs> like, but not in that way. <laughs> let us know how you feel about the food. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, I could go anywhere on the internet and read that uh, we're pieces of shit. But like. Here's my chance to hear what your thoughts are on these restaurants. And that's what really matters here. Yeah. With a sprinkling of that we're pieces of shit. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Have a great day. I, didn't, I just realized they're in alphabetical order. They are. How do we, they do that? We made it to J. What do you mean, how do they do that? <laughs> oh, I guess the file names are probably in alphabetical order. Yeah. That's how they did that. Okay. I'm going to pee. <laughs> okay. <laughs>